Hello, I'm Philip Harder. I got a tweet this morning uh, mentioning one of my old characters, the Great Zucchini, because um, like Mayor Giuliani, who's in the news at the moment, he used to blacken his hair as well. So that prompted me to go back and look at the book the Great Zucchini Appears In, which is Dreadful Acts, and I just thought I'd read you an extract and see if you can see the similarity. The man who sat up in the coffin certainly didn't look very dead. Eddie was surprised to find that he was actually a little disappointed that the occupant didn't have a skinless skull for a head or at least scary teeth. In fact, he reminded Eddie of Mr Collins, who worked in the Ironmongers. He had a very round head with very little hair and sparkling eyes. He looked very surprised when he saw Eddie. Where on earth am I? he asked. Where are the crowds? Mr Skillet and Mr Merriweather. Where is my Daniela? Eddie had no idea what he was talking about. You're in the stable block of Awful End, sir, he explained politely. Awful what? asked the man. He certainly didn't sound great or Italian. Awful End, sir, said Eddie. The home of the Dickens family. I'm Eddie Dickens. He put out his hand. The man in the coffin shook it. I'm the Great Zucchini, said the Great Zucchini. You're, you're not dead, are you? asked Eddie. Then, realising how stupid he sounded, added hardly, I mean, you didn't think you were. Whatever makes you think that? asked the great zucchini, swinging his legs over the edge of the coffin and onto the straw. Oh, just little clues, said Eddie, such as finding you in a coffin with your name on it, in, in the back of a hearse. The man nodded. A good point, young man. I see what you're alluding to. No, I went into this coffin very much alive and intended to come out that way, which is, as you can see, what has occurred. Unfortunately, instead of emerging to the applause and approbation of an eager crowd, I find myself in a private stable block with an audience of one. The word audience made Eddie feel a little uneasy. He'd once had a run-in with a man by the name of Mr Pumblesnook, an actor-manager of a band of wandering theatricals, who'd caused poor Eddie nothing but grief with a capital G, which is how I just spelt it anyway. You're, you're, you're not a wandering theatrical, are you, sir? asked Eddie, trying to keep the revulsion out of his voice, but failing spectacularly. The man leapt to his feet, and looked even less great, and even more like Mr Collins, the ironmonger. Eddie noticed that what little hair the great zucchini did have, a patch just above each ear, was dyed black rather than naturally black. If the truth be told from the smell of boot polish Eddie just detected, dyed was probably too strong a word for it. Eddie suspected that the hair was polished black. The man was quivering. Indeed, I am not a wandering theatrical, he protested, and was obviously upset. I, I didn't mean to offend you, Eddie assured him. I, I'm simply trying to make sense of what you're doing in a coffin in the back of a hearse. Well, I hope you can see the similarity between Mayor Giuliani and uh, the character of the Great Zucchini. Many thanks to the uh, eagle-eyed Twitterer who, who uh, pointed out that connection to me. Um, and I hope you enjoy listening to a short extract from Treble Acts, which is book two of the Eddie Dickens trilogy.